Hi. Let's check here. Hi, 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 guys, and we are live. Good afternoon, good evening, everybody. I trust everybody's doing well. And I certainly hope, I certainly, I certainly hope um, the week started in the most fantastic way. In, if not, tomorrow is another day. We get some rest and we get back at it tomorrow. Right? So hi everyone. Um, this is Rachel at the MPH Life LLC. And of course, uh, uh, if you are watching live, please wave and let me know where you are watching from. Okay. Um, if not, we otherwise we are going to jump right in. And on my end, again, a very long day. So um, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful, and I'm sure I will sleep like a baby tonight. So I can't complain. Listen, guys, we've been talking about the mind diet. Uh, I started with the mind diet last week, and uh, I'm I'm going to try my best to do the part two and knock all of it off uh, today. And uh, I talked about the mind diet being a combination of the Mediterranean and Dash diet, and the diet you want to take if you deal with well, that's suggested if you deal with high blood pressure heart disease type of stuff and the Mediterranean diet many take it for uh, weight loss and well weight loss or just overall well-being really so um, I um, I believe I stopped at the um, vegetables last week if not well I'm starting from there okay and last week I talked about what the diet was and uh, a couple things to include in the diet ultimately you know in this diet you really it comes down to the amount of uh, meat dairy um, fruit vegetable and fats healthy fats you really are intaking right um now I said, you know, M for at least six or more servings of green leafy vegetable a week and to add the other vegetables, really, overall vegetables. And um, at the end, I will tell you why it is so important to try to eat things that give you your nutrients. Um, but moving on, uh, the other thing you want to introduce is berries. Berries at least twice a week. Um, Studies have su supported strawberries, but you may include other berries, and this is because of the antioxidant effect. So, we are talking about the health of the blood vessels. Antioxidants are quite helpful, and you know, there is no better way than the natural way to intake it unless you have some severe absorption issues that doesn't allow you to absorb in the um the content of what you eat the next group will be the nuts yeah the healthy nuts um although the mind diet does not specifically say what kind of nuts you want to eat you definitely want to eat the nuts that will boost your hdl healthy fats and help lower the lower fat the higher the healthy fat the lower the the the, the bad fats so you want to try to have those type of nuts so toasted nuts try to avoid those with salt on it okay olive oil I have talked about olive oil in several other things as far as the type of healthy oil to use and in my um, little guide for way to improve your cholesterol and boost your HDL olive oil was one of the items on the list and then we talked about whole grains, and this is where I've really emphasized this with diabetics, right? Um, you, when you are diabetic, you are limiting the amount of carbs you are eating. But then the amount of carbs you do eat, you really want to try to make it whole carbs. 
it is just better for you that way because of how it is digested absorbed and affect your blood sugar now you don't have to be diabetic to have this principle because even when you are insulin resistant which most people don't know they are insulin resistant because your blood sugar is still normal except you know things are high it is steadily increasing your blood sugar and you are very quietly you know um uh, uh we are very quietly dealing with um sick blood vessels in terms of plaque you know insulin resistance part highly to the build up of plaque in our blood vessels so another nugget there right uh so you do want to uh try to eat uh try to help that insulin resistance business okay and then fish that goes with the healthy oil the healthy nuts that good old omega-3 uh, that we find highly in fish and some other beneficial nutrients for you but omega-3 is a big reason why so you want to choose the fatty fish like salmon sardines trout tuna mackerel i love salmon i love mackerel i'm just gonna put that out there oh my gosh actually i had salmon for dinner today <laughs> right uh, and then beans <sighs> try to include beans in um, at least four meals every week those are healthy those are legumes those are healthy um, vegetables with carbs for you and also protein so we are talking about beans lentils soybeans poultry you want to try to eat chicken or turkey at least twice a week not fried and that is if you eat meat so notice it's twice a week so it's not necessarily every day you are having way more vegetable um some nuts some fruit fish you know um uh, but you want to try to do that so if you don't eat meat then you are going toward the healthier protein choices which are vegetable protein and please make it the healthy way and then wine ah yes no we are not saying get drunk either okay so if you do drink alcohol not everybody does personally i cannot drink wine every day you want to have a glass just a glass now they say both and red um, both red and white wine to benefit the brand but there is more research really supporting red wine because it co it, con uh, it contains that um, compound called resver resveratrol <laughs> resveratrol which may help protect against Alzheimer's disease specifically now if you are diabetic you are being mindful of your alcohol intake so having a glass of wine every day is not something you necessarily want to do unless your blood sugar is well controlled like very well controlled or you are exercising right after to bring that sugar level down because remember alcohol is sugar so that thing is going to bring your blood sugar up very quickly so if i went through those too fast let me uh, repeat or summarize the 10 food you want to include on the mind diet okay there is a green leafy vegetables minimum six servings a week otherwise liberally vegetables the other group of vegetables and try to choose the non starchy vegetables if you can or limit the starchy vegetable because those are higher in carbs you can have those but you know not a whole lot um berries berries uh, at least twice a week okay if you can and berries are typically low like i have blackberry right now 
berries are kind of lower in sugar anyway when it comes to fruits in general except unless you buy some of those uh mutant I'll, i call them mutant strawberries that are like extremely sweet and you try to figure out how they were even how they were made to be that sweet um and then the nuts the healthy nuts almond pistachio uh, 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 uh stuff like brazil nuts stuff like that type of oil olive oil olive oil tends to sit up there in the class of the oils that are better for you you know there are other options like sunflower seed oil but olive oil sits up there okay and then uh, whole grains and do not forget all those things are also high in nutrients that are important for you uh, vitamins antioxidants stuff like that so whole grains and if you are non-diabetic you are aiming for three servings daily so your carbs intake should really be whole grains and you still want to watch the amount of it like i've been doing this thing as of late where i up my carb intake and i can see my meat section has grown out in a matter of two weeks so but it was done a little purposefully then i'm gonna cut it down this is me and my by my things and you know with exercise and what i do but uh be mindful of that you also want to eat fish the fatty fish salmon tuna mackerel trout sardines those are the better fish for you and oh don't fry them right just don't fry them or air fry is always a fantastic option thank god for air fryers beans um beans so we are talking about lentils uh or soybeans you know your your black eye beans or black eye peas they call them and some other beans I, I have the picture in my head but i cannot think of the name right now um for poultry you are eating chicken turkey I type of things two servings a week or so um, basically if you notice nothing has been said about red meat so yeah so if you want meat you are better off with poultry meat and then wine if you are non-diabetic if you don't have insulin resistance if you are quite active even and some people are not they still do we know about the European um, one glass a day is the maximum you want to do don't do more than one glass a day okay that's that now that's a long list and you are like, uh that's a lot what are the foods you want to avoid on the mind diet the food you want to avoid if you really are conscious of your brain health you know if you worry about memory loss or some type of dementia as you age especially if it runs high in your family so you know that you are prone to you know creating the setting or the conditions that foster um those conditions yeah environmental well the conditions that foster those type of uh, disease if i can put it that way so it may be hard to avoid those food altogether some people do but then you really want to limit it you want to minimize it so you want to minimize um, butter margarine cheese so that's dairy products um, by the way do you know human are the only um, are the only kind of um, Humans are the only one that drink milk past the toddler age. All the other animals really don't drink milk after when they are past that breastfeeding age. They don't drink milk anymore. Humans are the ones that do that. So avoid cheese or dairy product, minimize it. Then you want to have less than four portions of red meat a week. 
put it down as much as you can. Red meat alone keeps coming back with, you know, the incidence of colon cancer, the incidence of heart disease, the incidence of uh, dementia, especially vascular dementia. So don't be a red meter every single day of your life, okay? And then you want to definitely cut down fast food. Try to limit it to once a week. Once a week, okay? And then you want to try to avoid uh, servings or food with processed items. So pastry, candies, whatever you name it, you know, all the things with processed food, you really want to try to minimize and cut that down. So that's the second part for the mind diet, okay? Now we know what the mind diet is about and we know the food to include if you are mindful of your brain health and the food to avoid if you are mindful of your brain health. Why is it such a big deal to try to eat food with uh, um, that are naturally healthy, that naturally have nutrients for you? Simply because they are be better absorbed that way. They were designed already that way. As opposed to a supplement uh, which was uh, made in a lab or put together okay extracted or whatever your body your uh, digestive system tends to absorb those nutrients much better when they are actually provided from the food they are provided naturally to you as opposed to um, um, nutrients that you get through supplements so that's why it's a good idea to try to really include whole food hi Shoni good to see you Hope you are well. So hopefully this little presentation has been helpful. I've been going over my time as of late, but that, those are the thing. And um, I encourage you to explore it really because um, we see the incidence of dementia um, rising in our society and folks are younger, younger age. And if you've had events like strokes or you had diabetes and some other conditions, especially if you have inflammatory conditions, sometimes you also participate to issues like that. So, you know, try to help yourself, try to help your body with the things you eat also and you put in your body. So hopefully those tips that I gave you um, will be quite helpful. Um, so I'm going to wish everybody a good rest of the evening. Um, and you, Shani, thank you for popping by. And you have an amazing week ahead. I, I know I, I am. Besides the fact that I'm exhausted and I'm about to snore or something. <laughs> but it's been an amazing day. So i see you guys next week. By the way, do not hesitate to leave comments and things, suggestions if you want me to talk about something uh, specific. Okay? I think next week we will check in on mental health. Uh, checking on mental health. There's a lot going on around the world. So, all right, guys. You take good care of yourself. Bye.